Hey, and welcome back to FTL Randomized Everything. Um, we're back to my door suddenly moving. Now we're back with the monkey, and I got a pick here. I'm going to side with... I'm going to go with this. Because we know this is going to end in battle. Let's see. Oh, great. Does a tired traveler want to look into my humble shop? Here you will find the best products in the galaxy. Ridiculous low prices. Doc, please, I won't hurt you. So these guys could give you some uh, neat stuff. All right, so next time we get that event, I'll um, side with the slugs. Let's see what joy that'll bring us. Let's flicker back on, you turn to face the intruders. We'll make them regret what they did. With fire. And so you got one of them miles. Huh? One of these, nice. No fire in here yet. All right, coming back. You guys need to heal up. Guys, your ship isn't looking too good. I bet you know that, though. Could bore, but it's a little bit dangerous. to a crisp. Not a moment too soon, it seems. Cool. Well, 
Well, there goes the oxygen this time around. You guys just don't know when to quit, do you? quick about this suctions have gone nice fresh air okay you need a heal you need a heal Yeah, we'll heal. Oh, chip, yada yada. Maybe in here too, they do tend to prioritize fixing their shields. And you board your ship. still have our starting weapons too, namely these two. We got to pick up a fire beam at some point. I'm actually going to put them in a way that's more useful to me. There we go. Um, Tech ship here looks to have been hunting slugs on their home turf. A rare test of honor for the mightiest mantis screw. Weapons up. Too late. We're about to leave this sector. Okay, so we know for some reason they are hell bent in getting to weapons. 
except for this time where they don't. We want to get to engines this time around. I did it once and they just laugh at you like oh we didn't think he would actually say it how funny and they cut um, connection if you're really interested in how um, events turn out you can just go look at them in the mod files again can you give me another example then This ship really doesn't vent well, does it? We gave you doors, they're crummy ones though. Okay, I need to mark some more stuff on this thing. Um, NG boarding is not on here. Friendly fire is not on here. No, wait, no, it is. Boink. Hello, syrup. Oh, you're already somewhat decent on engines, that's convenient. <clears throat> this is so stupid, because that could easily kill you. Hey, let's do something risky without giving the player a chance to not do it. That seems like a good idea. Right? What could possibly go wrong? Oxygen can wait. Rock home worlds. Um, what do you mean, one? I wonder how good the uh, sensors are going to be on this thing. Anyway, come on out of the jump. Captain Silver Shaman greets you. I managed to get some interesting weapons and you are a great target. Am I now? It seems you found a whole bunch of flak. Hey there, chest carrier. That's indeed a lot of flack. But we got the power of fire. So that's gonna be cool. Seeing our shots manage to land, so I'm just gonna fire everything. And we're through. Oh, 
are you cloaked? You douche. Well, here comes the flak. And then we got hit by the one thing that isn't flak. You guys want some more fire on board? Because we got more fire. And hey, if you're willing to pass along one of those flat cannons when you die, that would be great. Ship's crew is dead, so you examine the holes. We got breach bomb mark three. Uh, yeah, probably because it has a high fire chance. See, eighty percent chance. So if that one were to fail, then I was given the opportunity to get one that um, pierces all shield, but was short, but only had a medium fire chance, and I passed up on it. Just because, indeed, my ch luck with the RNG tends to be piss poor. <clears throat> Alright, we'll go pick up hacking from the store because that's gonna complete our arsenal pretty darn swell. Hey, Stalci on sixth thing. You know what that means, lads. Hey there, Styles. Boom. Which also means boom. Right on time. I think that's the second one in a row, too. Hooray! Well, we'll just let that bling for a while. <coughs> And be happy with another bingo. Yup. Cool, isn't it? Alright, enough of that. We'll bring that up once we're done again. Um, if we do this, it'll uh, give us a full repair. So, sure. We can wait. Not too long though, because this thing is going to cloak again soon.
at the very least, that or it was done by the same guy that did the numbering on the Windows series. And maybe there's only three of them, like one, two, and six. Well, the ship's crew is dead, get everything of use from it. The station is actually explaining their offensiveness by the fact that its main fleet flew away to fight... Wait, what? By the fact that its main fleet flew away to fight, flew away to fight... <laughs> Little hiccup there. Some kind of cruel and gratitude they completely repair your ship. Did they though? I never really got through that game, so... It got too repetitive. Safety and fictional numbers. Art flagship. Is that on the bingo? It is. It's still merrily bop, I mean blooping away, but there it goes. Yay, now it shows up every time you get one. Woo! Oh my god, the pirate flexor flies right at you. Well, I'm gonna make it, it regrets live decisions, that's for damn sure. Really? You're gonna board me with one guy? That's more like it. Welcome back. <clears throat> did I get the bingo off? Yeah, I did. Okay. Of course. Okay, now, I would rather have you not board me, so, yeah. Free. You know? I often wonder about how well the timing in this game can be. You sometimes just go like, ah, you know, it's just coincidence, you know. It... But when it happens like this, where they still get to teleport, even though the thing, the animation is still going, I don't know anymore. How do you go against that? Couldn't be bothered to write something down. A lone slug boards your ship. It wants to die. <clears throat> Apparently. Flagship is charging up their FTL drive. Yeah, well, pursue them. I'd rather not lose my crew if that's all right. At 
least not again. <coughs> Ugh, stupid cough. That's the right room for you. Nope, you're going to shields. Yeah, I think that would take a while, wouldn't it? It wants to die. I'd like to get the crew kill here, but it seems less and less likely that that's going to be a possibility. Mainly because I also don't really want to stick around here for too long. And off he goes. Guess he wants to die on his own ship. Well, fine. I don't think he's that stupid. Have you heard about the fact that they, that one um, documentary where Flat Earth the nurse proved that the Earth wasn't flat by accident? We'll put up this experiment to prove that the Earth isn't flat. Oh, or if the Earth you know what I mean. That was brilliant. I haven't seen that bit yet. I just saw it on the internet that it was a thing. Good stuff. <clears throat> I'm surprised they've got three solar flares and no damage, though. That's uh, that's a bit of a surprise to me. Find yourself how much by slugs. Your hacker ship is already flying in no other direction. Ah. Uh -huh. Hey guys, are you like? Fireproof? We don't need to hack here. I only got two shields. I forgot to fire the dual laser, it seems. Well, frig. We did not start a fire in Yeah. Apparently so. This time there's scientific proof. <coughs> Which just makes things a bit better. save you which means get as many people to go bang on that door out and in yep he's dead just look at him being dead and all so dead 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 nothing can save him anymore he's so dead Oh, 
Normal life science, sort of useful materials. Okay. <laughs> the earth doesn't pull us down, the earth goes up when we jump. It actually managed to let somebody believe that for a while, which was great. had a bird fly and to something and um, it had quite a few mass if it was able to break a window so <clears throat> oh these guys give you a missile weapon don't they sure here you go Wasn't, isn't that Apollo who does that? I'm pretty sure that guy is Apollo, the guy who carries the world on his shoulders. Due to the dense nebula clouds, a ship rushes towards you. Battle is inevitable. Oh, Atlas. Then who's Apollo? Besides one of the guys from uh, the Phoenix Wright series. Apollo's a guy too. Let me look that up. Who the heck is Apollo? Uh, Apollo. Apollo is one of the most important and complex of the Olympian deities in classical Greek and Roman religion and Greek and Roman mythology. What is Apollo the god of? Master the divinity of the Greeks, Apollo has been variously recognized as a god of music, truth, and prophecy, healing the sun and light, plague, poetry, and more. Apollo is the son of Zeus and Leto. <laughs> Fudge you, Leto. Leto, whatever. And has a twin sister, the chaste huntress Artemis. Well, there you go. Now you learn a little bit more about naming things in FTL2. Which explains why there's a Zeus missile launcher. So basically, he's holding a bunch of clouds. That's way less impressive than a planet. Or is that just me who believes that? Yeah, that's uh, not Greek. That's... Norse. And it's a metaphor for heaven being here on earth. some other gibberish what have you
do seem there's still a little fire left we can make use of. They once threw a Toyota off a building that was being demolished and survived. An asteroid field, you thought it couldn't get any worse. A hacker ship appears, yada 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 yada. Seems you guys need some fire in your life. Not shields, not shields, not shields. Piloting mm, could be worse. Mm, how many th movie would that be? 12th. Definitely be weird. Unfortunately, that's not on the bingo. You're all done fighting? Fine, I'll come to you then. <laughs> Flag single charge mark two. Yeah, not interested. I'm gonna have a look at it, but I'm <clears throat> pretty sure it's just gonna be like. 12 shots or something, which is fancy, but we have three, four good weapons we do not want to get rid of. <coughs> really, what makes it interesting? Oh, I think ship had a user's pride turns out to be a dreadnought. Maybe it's better to remain a detective. Nah, as long as they don't hack weapons, any anything here will be okay. Yeah, doors, whatever. And explosions. Billions and billions of explosions. Let me hack your... <clears throat> uh, we already had sensors hacked. And those are together. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of intrigued to maybe go for a cloaking, but that just sounds ridiculous. So we'll go for weapons, which is equally ridiculous, but I don't really want to go for shields because they don't only have two. And okay, so bang, bang. Good. 
Seems a fire spread, you guys. Might want to do something. Like that. Well, why don't you ask him? She's like, nah, you know what, I'm good. Our crew is dead and you send a crew to collect its spoils. Among the heaps of scrap, we couldn't find a surviving weapon. We'll have a look at it, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to be using it. Um, but that's one more thing for the bingo, because I believe that's on there. Faction weapon. Yep, there it is. Uh, yeah, that's all for now. Uh, because it's almost Easter and then chocolate eggs are a whole thing. 